Now all of your customer data sources are connected and you have a basic understanding of the customer data platform. Let's look at how you can segment customers into audiences using filters. Under people, you'll find all of the people in your customer data platform. You can rearrange and customize how this information is shown and add any fields from your CDP as columns. This includes custom fields and fields directly from a data source. The filter control allows you to segment based on fields and activities. It puts all of your customer data at your fingertips. For example, let's imagine you wanted to target women who haven't placed an order in the last 60 days, who have previously spent more than $100 in your store. You can filter using the placed order activity and select has not occurred in the last 60 days. Then find the total spent field and filter by people that have spent more than $100. Now select the predicted gender where the predicted gender is female. Auto will instantly display the matches with lightning speed. Filters support AND and OR arguments and 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 OR groups. To switch to OR from AND, just click on any AND. Groups help you combine a series of AND or OR arguments. For example, if you want to find people who have purchased two specific items and then combine that with your existing filter, you can switch the end or or argument in the group the same way. Just click on it. Filters can be used to tag similar people, create targeted campaigns and save new audiences. Tags are useful when you want to save a snapshot of a filter from a moment in time. For example, you might take a group of people you think will be interested in attending an event. To do this, after filtering, click the top checkbox to select all. Then click the tag button and then create a tag. Sometimes you want to send targeted email or SMS blasts to your subscribers instead of creating audiences that you don't intend to use in the future. You can create a filter, for example, people who live within 50 kilometers of Sydney and have placed an order in the last 30 days and then create a new campaign targeted to that specific group of people. If you find yourself filtering to find a specific group of people over and over again, it makes sense to save it as an audience. Audiences contain people who meet specific criteria defined by a filter. If they meet the criteria, they are automatically added to the audience. If they no longer meet the criteria, they leave the audience. Audiences should be used to represent key stages of your customer journey. You'll have a series of pre-created audiences that represent the e-commerce customer journey. We encourage you to arrange audiences in an order that makes the most sense to represent the key customer lifecycle stages to your team. To rearrange your audiences, just drag them into the right place. Audiences form the basis of a successful methodology to grow your brand. Each audience should be paired with an automated campaign to either expand or contract the audience. Audiences help you understand a cohort of people over time, the growth or decline of the audience, the lifetime value, the best times to communicate with your audience, and audience demographics. Audiences are also used to control subscription preferences. To add an audience to your preference center for email or SMS, just select edit under setup. Check email preference center or SMS preference center or both to enable this audience to be shown in the subscription preference center. You can give the audience public facing names and descriptions so people know what kinds of content to expect. Audiences have destinations. Destinations help you sync your audience to ad networks for retargeting and lookalike campaigns. You can send an audience to a destination just by selecting it. The audiences are automatically kept in sync with the selected ad network as people enter and leave. So it's always up to date. Take the time with your team to create audiences that help you represent the key lifecycle stages of your own customer journey. And in the next lesson, we'll learn how to target audiences using campaigns.